Hey everybody, making a response for BD Kane 721. He just wants you to put together a baseball lineup and it can be made up of only current players and show cards for each spot. Now I'm taking a bit of a different approach than most people might because I figured if we all just pick the best players at every position, we're all going to end up with roughly the same lineups, give or take a few spots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Fantasy Baseball League lineup. I had the draft recently. Didn't turn out quite as good as I hoped. So I'm not saying that this lineup would beat anyone else's lineup. But I just felt it would be more enjoyable for me to do it this way. I just had to be a little bit different as usual. So here's who I got. Leading off my shortstop. It's going to be Anthony Volpe. Had a 2020 season last year. 20 home runs, 20 stolen bases. Not a good batting average, but hoping that this year his batting average will go up. He's the type of guy that if he can get on base more, I think he's going to make a really good leadoff hitter. Although I don't think the Yankees are going to use him in that spot yet, but for this team, I am. Batting second, the second baseman. I have Luis Arise. Love watching this guy hit. I mean, if you're a fan of baseball, how can you not love watching him hit? Doesn't give you a lot of power, but... I'm not looking for a lot of power out of my number two spot. You got the speed guy leading off in Volpe and good contact guy in the number two spot. You can do some hit and runs and maybe set up some rallies for the big boys coming up. Batting third, the catcher. was kind of surprised that I was able to get this guy because a lot of people have been really high on him. It's Adley Rushman. I think he's around... 270 over 20 home runs last year and I expect those numbers are gonna go up even more more of a batting average more home runs so I think he'll eventually make a really good number three hitter batting cleanup my right fielder I have Juan Soto now him I was also very surprised that I was able to get I had the eighth pick in the first round and I thought there was no way that Soto was gonna drop to me at the eighth spot but he did and was able to get him. And with the Yankees, I think he's going to hit second. But he's the type of guy that could hit second, third, fourth. Doesn't really matter. And again, on this team, I think four would be a good spot for him with those guys getting on base ahead of him. A lot of RBI opportunities. Batting fifth, my center fielder. I ended up with Luis Robert. And I mentioned before, he quietly had a really nice year last year. And I think his numbers are only going to get better, still scratching the surface on his prime. But like I said before, a lot of people kind of jumped off the bandwagon on him because there was a lot of hype initially. And just because he didn't hit like 50 home runs right away, people gave up on him. But you know, I think his best seasons are ahead of him. I think the fifth spot is really nice for him on this squad. Batting sixth, my first baseman. And I have Anthony Rizzo. I seem to always end up with Anthony Rizzo as my first baseman in fantasy baseball. Was off to a really good start last year. I thought he was going to have like the best season of his career last year, but then ended up getting injured. Somebody ran into him at first base. I think it might have actually been one of Saul's guys. I think it was one of the Padres. I think it might have been Tatis ran into him at first and was just not the same after that. Ended up Still ended up playing, but... You could tell he was injured, and then, like, months later, they figured out he was playing with a concussion, which I don't know how it took them that long to figure that out. But thus far, this spring is looking pretty good, looking healthy, so hopefully this year he'll have the season that he was going to have last year. Next up, batting seventh, my DH. Ended up with another White Sox guy, Eloy Jimenez. I always seem to end up with a bunch of White Sox guys in fantasy baseball and in cards like if I'm ripping packs or random breaks and stuff yeah he's one of those guys that if he could just stay healthy he's gonna put up some solid power numbers I think batting seventh on this team is a good spot for him next in the eighth spot I have my left fielder I took a shot on this guy late in the draft to see what happens but it's Jared Kelnick now batting in that Braves lineup maybe he could put up some numbers he's another guy that has a Pretty decent speed power combo. Not quite sure where the Braves are going to bat him, but on this team, I'm putting them in the eighth spot. Maybe we could get some 
rallies going out of the bottom of the order. Batting ninth at third base. This guy ended up hanging around in the draft a while, so I ended up picking Nolan Arenado. Obviously not putting up the MVP type of numbers that he used to, but still respectable enough. And again, he's batting ninth. If I was asking him to bat like third or fourth, I might be in trouble, but out of the ninth spot here, if he could put up 270 batting average, around 20 to 25 home runs, I think that'll be really good out of the ninth spot for this team. So there you go, there's my lineup. And if you notice, I went right, left, switch, left, right, left, and so on. I've just always liked that kind of balanced lineup. The 90s Yankees had a lot of success with that kind of lineup. But yeah, this is not the greatest lineup ever, but still pretty solid. And most importantly for me, I know nobody else will have the exact same lineup I have, which again, was kind of what I was going for with this. So there it is, Saul. Thanks for the opportunity. Some great prizes for this, so everybody check it out. I'll leave the link, and I hope to talk to you all again soon.